YouTube, what's good, man? It's Mike here from MJ Boxing. Back again with another video. If any new viewers, please subscribe to the channel. Bam, hit that subscribe button right there, please. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all y'all support, man. I'm here to talk about more boxing. That's all I cover is boxing. Boxing is my favorite sport. So, yeah, y'all keep up with me. Alright, we got a fight this Saturday between uh, Jean Pascal and Roberto Belanti. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing his name right. These guys are fighting this Saturday in uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And, um, you know, so these basically, these guys are fighting this Saturday, right? December 6th. You know, and the same day, we got um, my man Hank Lundy fighting on the undercard. He's fighting um, Thomas DeLorme. He's on, on the undercard of, um, you know, Gabe Rosado and. Uh, uh, I can't pronounce the game, the guy Rosado's fighting, but, you know, basically, you got those two fights going on that same day. So, Jean Pascal versus Roberto Belanti, um, I don't know nothing about Belanti, but we do know about, you know, Pascal, he fought, you know, Lucian Butte, he fought Bernard Hawkins, he fought, uh, you know, Chad Dawson, he fought Carl Froch, so, uh, you know, uh, I had a chance to meet Jean Pascal back in August at the, uh, Garcia Salka undercard, very nice guy. He was taking pictures with the fan, with the fans. So um, but anyway, Jean Pascal was like 29. What is he like 29? And he have, he's like 29 and two with 17 knockouts. He only lost to Bernard and Carl Frotch. So he's fought some you know some big names and some you know good op oppositions. So to get to the point, man, you know them those two guys are fighting this Saturday, right? So. Check this out. Fighthype.com just said Lucian Butte. They basically signed a deal with, Bush, with uh, Butte. Basically saying if Lucian Butte, you know, wins this Saturday, they got a date set for him between him and Sergey Kovalev, March 14th. So listen to what I said. Lucian Butte wins this Saturday. He automatically has a date for um uh, Sergey Kovalev, March 14th. So um, we do know that um, Sergey Kovalev is the WBO, IBF, and WBA light heavyweight champion of the world. We do know Jean Pascal was the former Ring Magazine and former WBC light heavyweight champion of the world until he lost it to um, he either lost it to Hawkins or uh, Froch. I'm not sure, but he lost it to one of those guys. But we do know he was a you know a top light heavyweight. Which he still is, but, you know, he's not the champion anymore. So, uh, once he wins this Saturday, man, he's pretty much, you know, can get a fight with, uh, you know, Sergey Kovalev. So, here's another thing. Sergey Kovalev also has a fight on that day. He's supposed to fight, um, if I get this name, this guy's name correct. His mandatory, Sergey Kovalev's mandatory, is a guy by the name of, I can't pronounce his first name. Last name is Mohammadi. So, if you guys, you know, Google Mohammadi. First name starts with an N, last name Mohammedi. So that's supposed to be, you know, uh, Sergey K uh, Kovalev's mandatory. So basically, there's a lot of stuff going on. So, uh, you know, Pascal got a fight going on. He already signed a deal with um, Sergey Kovalev before his fight even started. Sergey Kovalev already got a date set for March uh, 14th with this guy Mohammedi. So basically, man, if, you know, Pascal wins, he's basically going to pay. Sergey Kovalev will pay um, his mandatory uh, Mohammed to step aside. That way, you know, uh, that way Jean Pascal can fight, you know, him, Sergey Kovalev. So, there's a lot of stuff going on in this box thing, man. It's, it's crazy. So, um, you know, so that's kind of crazy. So, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will probably look at this as a duck. I don't think it's a duck. Sergey Kovalev wants to fight the. Uh, best guys out there and I think um between Mohammed and Jean Pascal I do believe that Jean Pascal will be um you know a better fight for him Jean Pascal's for a better opposition he's for you know bigger names this guy you know Mohammed I don't know I don't know nothing about this guy I just know he's like I don't know I think he has like 30 33 wins 24 knockouts like four losses something like that and this guy's basically been fighting over in France but to get to the point, man, I don't know nothing about this guy, and I think Jean Pascal is a better, um, he, he has a bigger name, he's for a better opposition. This guy, Mohammed, he's been knocked out by, like, you know, two guys that don't have a name, so 
I can kind of see why Sergey Kovalev wants to fight Jean Pascal as opposed to his mandatory uh, Mohammed. I don't look at. I'm pretty sure you guys gonna say, "Oh, he's ducking uh, his mandatory." I don't think he's ducking his mandatory. I'm think. I just think that you know, he wants to fight the biggest and best guys out there. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, he already has three belts, Sergey Kovalev. So he basically just wanna you know fight the biggest best guys and want you know um. What's this other guy's, this other cat's name? Um, other guy with the WEC belt, Adonis Stevenson. I'm pretty sure, you know, um, pretty sure he should win his fight. Um, I'm not sure, but, I mean, hopefully he wins his fight as well. And hopefully Jean Pascal wins, you know, Saturday in, uh, you know, Canada, Quebec. And um, if he wins, it's all he basically, Sergey going to pay his opponent, you know, step aside. His, 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 uh, Here's 50,000, step aside. Here's 100,000, step aside. That way, you know, Jean Pascal can get it on with Sergey Kovalev and give Jean Pascal a, um, another shot at uh, getting the belts back. Or getting one belt or getting all the belts. I don't know if he's going to pay, you know, a sanction fee for all belts or, you know, one belt. But that will give him a chance to be, you know, champion again. And, and also, if Jean Pascal takes on, um, you know, Sergey Kovalev, who do I think would win? Um... I think Sergey Kovalev will win. I think Sergey Kovalev is a little bit quicker than Pascal. Pascal does have, you know, a good set of wheels on him. He kind of, he don't stand in front of you, but he does have a good set of wheels. He can, you know, box pretty good, but I think Sergey Kovalev is a better boxer. I think Sergey Kovalev is, um, you know, more accurate. I just think Sergey Kovalev can going to beat Jean Pascal, man, if they do face off March 14th. So, um, yeah, man, that's what's going on in the boxing world. Oh, yeah, and I just went to head, uh, Headbangers today. I was at Headbangers. I had a chance to, you know, holler at Austin Trout. So, video's coming right after this one. So, yeah, y'all hit me up with any questions, comments, and let me know what you think of the situation between, um, you know, Jean Pascal, his opponent Saturday, and, you know, Sergey Kovalev and his mandatory Mohammed. And holler at me, I'm out, alright? Peace.